Dick Whittington and his cat. Dick Whittington was a poor boy who came to London to seek his fortune. To seek his fortune? No, no. Seek his fortune. I thought you said seek his fortune. No, I did not. Well, he found work in a large store owned by an older man. An old woman? No, no, an older man. What's an older man? I'm afraid it would take too long to explain. But he held a high position. Was he an airman? No, no. He owned a large store. You said he was in a high position. Yes, he was in a high position. Now Dick was accused of being dishonest and was dismissed. What dismissed me? Discharged. Sent off. So he took his cat with him. Then he was dishonest. Oh, no, he was not. But he took the alderman's cat with him. No, no, it was Dick's cat. Who gave it him? Never mind who gave it him. I expect he took it. <laughs> now he hadn't gone far when he heard the bow bells of London calling. And the bells seemed to say, Turn again, Whittington, Lord Mayor of London. So he turned. What did he turn into? He didn't turn into anything. He turned back. And then he went for a voyage in a ship and reached a foreign land that was overrun with rats. Now, the king didn't like rats. Why? Nobody likes rats. Well, why did he have them? He couldn't help it. He wanted to get rid of them. Well, why didn't he? He couldn't. No one could catch them. So Dick lent his cat to the king, and the cat killed all the rats. All of them? Yes, all of them. And the king gave him a fortune. Who, the cat? No, no, Dick Whittington. But it was the cat that killed them. I know it was. But it was Dick's cat, and you can't give a cat money. A cat must be satisfied to kill rats. And Dick was made Lord Mayor of London. What was the cat made? Oh, the cat just remained a cat. Well, I don't think very much of that for a story. Why? They might have made the cat something. Well, what could you make a cat? Well, you could make it the Lord Mayor, uh, the Lord Mayor of Catland. Well, that's not a bad idea, and perhaps they did. Oh, well, if they did, that's all right. And thank you, Daddy, very much for telling me.